Testing about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good Miss defensive it, bro. position. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And all the, the gamble, gamble fails. It's incomplete. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Well, that was a long attempt to begin with, so the fake you might have known was somewhat of a possibility. Credit to the defense, and that's caught inside the 30. And finally out of bounds, just a few yards short of goal line at the three. A big play there just before halftime, 59 yards. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total field of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. Allen looks to throw on second down. He will score. score. Touchdown, Buffalo. Josh Allen now with his third touchdown in his first ever NFL game. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Heard a coach talk about those late in the half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Now they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Footing always a concern, concern, but the, but the extra, extra points, points have up been good. good. And a route is on here in this first half. This is taken about seven yards deep. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's just been looking for some space. Yeah, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people, find some other playmakers, but always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. Here's second and seven now from the 28. So we've reached halftime here on opening week. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. And we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Oh, nice move. <laughs> And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. He'll let it go deep for Curley, and that's caught inside the 35. A big play here for Buffalo. 46 yards. is pretty bad. Not the tallest receiver on the field, but he just shouted to admit that the little guy can't go downfield and make a big-time catch on a deep pass because sometimes they'll just out-scrap you for the football. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they got their way with them. Mm -hmm. On second down, it's McCoy. Played a second. McCoy's got the first down and more. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. 
LaShawn McCoy. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Bills continue to pour it on. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those, those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 20. offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And last time out, another touchdown. I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this one's just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? Ooh. You and me, trying to get to the airport. That's the road true. can be fairly that, clear that is by the time positive. we have to leave the booth. now on first down. Airing one out deep. For, oh, this is taken in. It's complete. That one goes for 36 yards. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know you can move to the outside part of the field. Help is going to be a little bit, a little bit late getting, getting there. And he puts one out there for a big time completion. A give to McCoy. before they're inside the 25. Another nice gain, 13 yards at a time, and another first down. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. On first down, Allen. Curley's got it, complete. They'll get to him just inside the 15-yard line. And even after that fancy footwork, we saw a good job defensively to recover. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Charles, I think sometimes maybe we take LaShawn McCoy for granted. Been in the league since 2009. He's played 12 or more games every season as a running back. 30 years old this year. What do you see for his future? I still see a very bright future for him, and you're exactly right. We do kind of take him for granted. Remember, he was with Philadelphia. Then he goes to Buffalo. Buffalo goes through the playoff drought before last season. And the Eagles, they win a Super Bowl without him. So, yeah, we forget just how special he is. But I do think with his running style, he's got many more seasons left. Now Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Three touchdown passes now for the rookie. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They'll start the drive with a carry by McCoy. And he'll get this up over the 25 and the 26. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football. But they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, this is my theme of Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is, don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, it's almost a tendency breaker. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. 
to the air. Allen, he's going to rifle one deep left side. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. down. Couldn't connect. That was third. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charlie, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep playing in the mound, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Go, and that's caught inside the 35. Bills touchdown. The, the rookie, rookie Josh Allen with his fourth. Now following the touchdown, here comes this offense back out onto the field as they will take over with a first and ten. This give is to McCall. Slipped a little tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the dead behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing out second down. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Another one this time to the time. And hit by four to about the 27 yard line. The former Charger Pro Air on the stop. What? That's it. That's what you want. Yeah. Straight in the game. What? Take it. What did I say? What? Yeah, because it, it's either the end of the game. Not spinning. They'll have a first down past the 40. Unable to get it. Good yard. He rumbles for 24 at a first. He said it earlier in the quarter when we saw the first time that we see some missed tackles here. Once. I'm doing a video. I'm sad. I got a minute left, okay? Um, um, what? Wait, I'm going to put my mask. Looks like they're starting a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four quarters. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. Hey, the frick has to get a corner, Brad. Get off. Okay, hold on a sec. I got literally a minute left. Can you wait a minute? Now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> yeah, that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very active. And he will get into the end zone. It's, it's another touchdown. touchdown. This, this thing, thing is, is ugly. ugly. That's the game. Thank you for watching. Here, I'll check out the stats if you guys want to see them. Every year, week one, you had to fly over the big American flag out there before the game. All the hoop lines. 13 completions, 23 attempts. It is. Four touchdowns, a pick. Opening the game. There's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo. But the best part for us is that that crescendo lasts for a while. Opening the game here. Thank you for watching. That's it. Make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe. Final score 56 to 6. I'm in a play.